What is going on Bull Nation? This is Lazerbull coming at you with another video. In today's video, I wanted to put a guide together on how to do the blinding well. So I've been playing a lot of blinding well lately and I noticed a lot of people are struggling by not knowing exactly what to do in the blinding well. For those of you who don't know, the blinding well is a new adventure that you're able to do in Destiny's Forsaken. Once you unlock the Dreaming City, you are going to be able to have access to the Blind Well. Now, the Blind Well will consist of three different tiers. And in order for you to access a tier, you're going to need a tier ruin in your consumables for whichever tier you're planning on doing. So if you need to do tier one, you need a tier one ruin. If you need to do a tier two, you need a tier two ruin. And in order to do a tier 3 ruin, of course, you need a tier 3 ruin. Now, granted, if you just want to go and check out the area, you're still able to go check it out, even if you don't have a tier. But you won't be able to do anything unless you have one of these tiers to charge up the light. Now, assuming that you already have a tier 1, a tier 2, even if you have a tier 3, I'm pretty sure by the time you have a tier 3, you'll know exactly how to get this completed. But if you do have one and you don't know what you're doing, then we're going to explain everything to you guys. Once you have a tier 1 or a tier 2, you are going to walk up into the offering area and present your tier. Once you present your tier, you will then begin to charge the light. Once you begin to charge the light, then there's going to be this big bubble or dome, like a titan bubble, that will go will spawn in front of you or like inside that dome. Now, the cool thing about this is if you stay in the dome, you will not take any damage. If you go outside the dome, you will take damage. Now, here's the tricky part of what happens so in the first wave your main objective is just to kill enemies that's all you got to do once you kill enough enemies you'll go ahead and start charging up the light once that light starts getting charged it'll be filling up a little square and there's a total of five different uh, kind of squares or areas that you're gonna have to do this one but once you get to the second one this is where the mechanics come into play so what exactly are these mechanics you're gonna want to learn these mechanics because this is where i see people are having a hard time getting this completed or just not knowing exactly what to do because either they're not paying attention to their to their like you know with the information that's popping in the bottom of the screen or so many people are doing everything at once that everything's so chaotic that they're not being able to play attention to the to you know to what exactly is happening around now remember this is cell number two from cell number two all the way to some number five you're gonna want to make sure you know how to do this mechanic now every single round from zone two all the way to three will spawn a enemy called servant of the plague now the servant of the plague is gonna be very identifiable because he's gonna be like any other enemy just the fact that he's gonna be glowing he's gonna be like in a little glowing and uh, you're gonna be able to distinguish him from any other enemy he has like a white aura around his shield and when you shoot this one, you are going to notice that it says that he is immune. Now, you're probably wondering, how the heck do I damage or how to do I damage his shields? Well, at the same time that he spawns, there is another enemy that spawns that is called Anathema. Now, you're going to want to be looking for this one and not worry too much about the servant of the plague locate the anathema and make sure you guys kill the anathema once you kill the anathema you will notice that he will drop a little orb that's bigger than a kind of like a regular orb and it's bigger than an ingram it's a little circular ball that looks purplish and blue and he will and this enemy will drop this ball if you go ahead and walk by the bowl and pick it up you are going to get a buff that's called Harmony you'll be able to notice that this harmony buff will be located on the left hand side of your screen And this harmony buff will last a total of 10 seconds Once you have the harmony buff you are then able to your objective is to locate the servants of the plague Because the only way you're able to damage the servants of the plague is if you have the harmony That's the only way to do it now. This is the Place where I see a lot of people mess up because I see a lot of people start shooting the servant of the plague and he's immune and they're like why can I kill this enemy the only way you're able to kill this enemy is to have the harmony buff the only way you get the harmony buff is if you kill the anathema now keep in mind guys you're gonna de definitely need to be keeping eye on this one thing I would suggest if you're in a fire team is definitely just put maybe someone in charge of just killing the anathema and getting the harmony and killing the servant that way other people can just worry about killing the ads when everything is happening so it won't be so chaotic 
Once one of your fire team team leaders kills the servant, you are then going to go back into what we're doing again, and that is filling the well or the or the light with a complete set of light. This is easily do. This is done by killing a bunch of enemies. The more you guys are able to kill enemies, the faster you'll be able to fill the light. Now, once you completed all the different sections and you've gone all the way to the five different spot locations that are marked in the map when you do it, you are then going to be presented with a boss. Now, this is going to be for Tier 1. Tier 1 will spawn a boss in front of you. Now, once again, when you try to shoot this boss, he will then once again be immune. Now, the only way you're able to take him from being immune to being able to damage him is if you look for the enemy called the Anathema. Once you get the Anathema killed, he will then drop the ball, pick up the ball, and get that Harmony. Now, with that Harmony buff, you're able to go DPS the boss and bring down his shield. Once his shield is knocked down completely all the way to the bottom, while his white bar goes all the way to the bottom, then all your other teammates are able to kill him. Now, knowing the spawn locations of where the Anathema spawns, it's going to be crucial. So for Tier 1, they will spawn on the left-hand side of the cave if you're looking forward. If you do are doing a Tier 2, the biggest difference is that instead of one boss, is a total of two bosses. Now, my strategy for doing a Tier 2 is definitely always go to the right-hand side. If you go to the right-hand side, there's going to be a little cave opening on top of the uh, U-shaped area, and the Anathema will always spawn there. You're able to kill the Anathema, get the Harmony buff, and then go knock the shield off the Ogre to be able to get him completed. Once you go to the left-hand side, the Anathema will spawn on the left-hand side of the Ogre, kill the Anathema, get the buff of the Harmony buff, Bring down the shields of the of the uh, ogre, and there you guys have it. That is how you kill it. So, quick recap for those of you guys who are having a hard time figuring out exactly how to do this. Step one: you're gonna definitely need a tier to charge up the light. Once you charge up the light, all you gotta worry about for the first spot is completely making sure you kill ads. Once you kill the ads for stage two all the way to stage five, you're gonna be looking for an enemy that's glowing called the Anathema. There's gonna be another er enemy called the Servant. You need to kill the Anathema first to be able to damage the Servant. Once the Servant is, is damaged, you are then able to go ahead and go back and kill enemies. You do that all the way to wave five, you will then spawn a boss who will also not take any damage unless you get the buff of Harmony, which is done by killing the Anathema. Once you kill the Anathema, you are able to bring down the shields of the boss. Once the boss shields are completely gone, everybody's able to DPS them and complete the blinding well. And there you guys have it. That is how you do the blinding well. I hope you did find this video helpful and informative. The reason I decided to make this video is because I've seen a lot of people struggling with this. And I hope this video helps you guys understand what you need to do in order to complete the blinding well. And there you guys have it. That is how you guys complete it. Don't forget, guys, if you want to stay up to date to everything Destiny, make sure you guys keep it locked to this channel. And I will catch you guys on the next video.